Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Joe Biden has blessed us with his wisdom about wildfires. He says we're having a record fire season, and the fire season lasts longer, and the fires burn hotter than they used to. I, know, I'm, I realize I'm preaching to the choir here. I know you all know this better than any other people in the country. The fire season traditionally lasts through October. Well, with climate change, climate change is driving the dangerous confluence of extreme heat and prolonged drought. We're seeing wildfires of greater intensity that move with more speed and last well beyond traditional months, the traditional months of the fire season. And that's a problem for all of us. Wildfires are, are, wildfires are not a partisan phenomenon. They don't stop at a county or a, or a state line, or a country line for that matter. Let's take a look at Biden's record wildfire season. So far this year, about 1.4 million acres has burned. That's about 3% of the burn acreage from 90 years ago. Over the past few decades, burn acreage in the United States has been down about 80% since the 1930s. Perhaps Biden meant a record low rather than a record high. Of course, this bar will get larger as the summer goes on. This graph shows burn acreage through June 28th for the past 10 years. Burn acreage so far this year has been below average and less than one third of what it was 10 years ago. Now let's look at Biden's claim that the wildfire season is longer and that the fires burn hotter than they used to. On February 16th and 17th, 1898, about 3 million acres burned in South Carolina. That's more than twice the total burn acreage in the United States so far this year. This year, people were freezing to death in the South in mid-February when the wind turbines iced up. Here's a February 22nd, 1898 newspaper article describing the fires from Wilmington, North Carolina. Hundreds of miles of timberland swept with fire. And then later that year in 1898 were the largest forest fires in Colorado history. The 1898 fires in Colorado ran over most of the western half of the state. The New York Times reported that people were fleeing for their lives. And there were also massive, deadly forest fires burning in Wisconsin at the same time in October. The fire season of 1898 was at least eight months long. Biden claimed that fires are getting hotter and that the fire season is getting longer, but neither of his claims have any basis in science or history. The fires of 1898 were much worse than any fires this year. Also in 1898, Oregon set their all-time high temperature record. In fact, they hit 119 degrees twice that summer, first on July 29 and then again on August 18, 1898. Climate alarmists are claiming that the heat wave of 2021 is the hottest on record, but it was hotter in 1898 and the heat wave was also longer. It lasted for at least three weeks. The worst fires in the Pacific Northwest and Western Canada actually occurred in the year 1910. Minneapolis Tribune, October 9, 1910. More than 250 lives toll of forest fires in Beltrami County. October 11, 1910. Hundreds of settlers trapped by fire missing three days and believed dead. October 10, 1910. Thousands flee before flames. Death zone increases. Ontario burning. Winnipeg Tribune, October 10th, 1910. Forest fire leaves path of desolation. But the worst forest fires of 1910 actually occurred in the Pacific Northwest. One fire in Idaho and Montana burned up about 3 million acres, and most of that burn occurred in a period of less than 8 hours. In 1910, more acreage burned in a few hours than has burned during the entire year of 2021. Now let's go back 150 years to 1871. On October 7, 1871, the New York Times reported, Prairies in flames, 150 miles swept by fire, men, women, and children fleeing for their lives. The Chicago Tribune reported, Conflagrations, continuance of the destructive fires in Wisconsin and Minnesota. The fires of October 1871 spread very quickly, and the following day, Chicago burned to the ground. There were fires all around Lake Michigan and Lake Huron that day, but the worst fires occurred in Wisconsin around Green Bay. More than 1,000 people burned to death in Peshtigo, Wisconsin on October 8, 1871. People were leaving church, and without any warning, a massive firestorm came out of the sky. They had no chance of escaping, and many people were found boiled to death. 
This was occurring at the same time Chicago and many other cities around the Great Lakes were on fire. Now let's go back 20 years earlier to February 6, 1851. Most of the state of Victoria, Australia burned to the ground in just a few hours. Temperatures in Melbourne were 117 degrees in the shade at 8 o'clock in the morning. The intense heat of Black Thursday was not its only peculiarity. From early morning it was accompanied by a hot wind almost of the strength of a hurricane, and throughout the day the surface of the country was exposed to the full power of its withering influence. Bushfires raged across hundreds of miles of country, sweeping along with almost the rapidity of lightning and destroying nearly instantaneously men, women, and children, crops and homesteads, fences and gardens, and vast quantities of sheep, horses, pigs, and fowls. Now let's go back even further to 1825 when Canada's worst forest fire occurred. On October 7, 1825, about 2.5 million acres of New Brunswick burned up in less than nine hours. Again, that's considerably more burn acreage than has burned in the United States for this entire year. History is not the Biden administration's friend, so a few weeks ago they erased all of the fire data prior to 1983. The U.S. government has very accurate data going back to at least 1916. But sometime since January, the Biden administration disappeared the data prior to 1983, which also happened to be the lowest year on record for burn acreage. The long-term trend is that burn acreage in the United States is sharply downwards. But by erasing the data prior to 1983, the Biden administration can make it look like forest fire burn acreage is increasing. Biden is committing spectacular scientific and political fraud. He says that we're having one of the worst fire seasons on record. But nature is not cooperating with him. The eastern half of the United States is very wet, and large amounts of moisture are starting to stream into the western United States as well. Even California is forecast to get a lot of rain during July. For Joe Biden, climate change is a religion. His National Day of Prayer proclamation mentioned climate change, but it did not mention God. Joe Biden's claims about climate have nothing to do with reality. Democrats and the press are hoping the public is ignorant about history and science. But Toto, Kyrie, and Caesar are working hard to make sure that's not the case. You can visit them on the web at realclimatescience.com.